AI is the hottest topic right now because everybody is using ChatGPT and it's a rumor it's going to replace so many jobs out there. However, the AI industry is also creating many more jobs. It has been predicted that the AI industry is going to grow 35% year over year in the upcoming 10 years. Even if all the big tech companies announce layoff, but we have seen companies start hiring again regarding AI related positions. So it's definitely a great opportunity for people to jump in and start the new career in the AI product management space. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the only four ways to become an AI product manager with no experience. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where I discuss the four tips that most people don't do, but it's easiest to implement. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you're interested in product management course, please go to pmaccelerator.io to learn more. To learn the most efficient way to become product manager, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button so be notified every time I post a new video every Tuesday. A lot of people say you need experience to become an AI product manager. I totally disagree because my very first product manager job was AI product manager. I was working on smart cities and using machine visions and AI to help cities reduce car crashes. At the time, AI wasn't even that hot, that popular, there's no chat GPT, but was still able to make significant impact to cities. So I believe this amazing career everybody should continue to pursue, not just myself, and I have other students, for example, my student Rashu, and he came from no product management experience, and then he broke into product management through our training inside the PMA Center, and then he became a senior AI product manager. So I believe you guys can do it as well. Like five years ago, when I broke into AI product management, the biggest challenge I had was that there is no step-by-step -step guidance to tell me exactly how I can do it. So basically I try to figure things out on my own, but I'm luckily now so much resources out there. So that I make this video to make it extremely easy and achievable for all of you guys. Now, follow the four steps. Let's pick the one most suitable for you. Now let's understand the four ways to become a product manager. The first way, which is for people who have no experience at all, no work experience, fresh graduate currently in school, and there is a great chance you can become a product manager even if you're currently in school. But for students who are currently in school with no experience at all, you should focus on entry-level AI product manager position. And while in school, you should study the following majors that's highly favored by AI teams. For example, data science, math, computer science majors, they're all undergrad majors and companies really like. If you study master's program, I suggest you to study artificial intelligence master's program and all of those laid out the foundation of AI. Except these majors, you should also take different kind of product management courses. If they're offered by your school, you should take it for sure. If they're not offered by school, you should seek outside the school to find any product management courses that can teach you hands-on end-to-end product management life cycle skills so that you're able to turn your course project into a product portfolio and demonstrate your related experience in product management and your knowledge about AI. There are five different tools you should use to build your product portfolio and you should definitely check out this video where I describe all the five tools with detailed examples. After you have the AI knowledge and the product portfolio ready, you should definitely continue to apply for jobs and pitch yourself to the hiring manager to demonstrate your AI related experience. I'm also going to link the video in the description of this video. The second way for people to become an AI product manager are people who are currently non-AI product managers, which means you could be data product manager, IoT product manager, cloud product managers, but you want to transition into AI space becoming an AI product manager. For this group of people, there's a shortcut for you to make it happen. The advantage is that you already have product management skills and knowledge. Now we just need to learn all the AI foundations. According to the VP of product at Google, Rob Latham, he emphasized the importance of studying the AI foundations for people to become an AI product manager. Here's what he said. One of the most asked questions today is that how can people become an AI product manager? So what's your advice to them? Because it's so hot right now. So what's your advice? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, teams I've worked on have done a lot of AI stuff, you know, kind of uh, machine learning, computer vision related stuff, image recognition, so on. So mm -hmm. I think 
you know, working on some of those kinds of basics and things that are like, in general, I like the, I guess I would say, I like the unsexy side of sexy technology. So specific example, you know, we were competing for, you know, PhDs in ML and, and AI related disciplines. Mm -hmm. um, when we were doing kind of image recognition for figuring out if you yeah. know, people are trying to put porn in ads, we were competing with people trying to, who wanted to build filters for Snapchat or Facebook or whatever, you know, com you know real time computer exactly. vision applications. And so I think, again, like if you're, you know, if you're thinking about some of that stuff, I'd say look at some of the things side or the fundamentals or the baseline, the basics and learn those. That's always a good thing to, you yeah. know, to, you know, that's one way to kind of get up to speed on something in a way that maybe isn't as might be harder, less hard to get into than if you're trying to go work at the hottest new startup that's doing some of this stuff. Again, you should try that too. But um, mm -hmm. the reality is a lot of these fundamentals, I think, will stand people in good stead if they learn them and they understand them uh, deeply. And this is a podcast interview I had with Rob. And in my Product Insider podcast, you can check out the full video version of the podcast right here. And we're also going to publish the podcast through Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You should subscribe to this podcast once it's available. Now, you guys might ask, hey, Nancy, what are those foundation skills I learned about AI? Because it's too broad, too vague. Now, let me list all the key skills you need to master in the AI space. Number one, which data set you should use to train the AI model and how to train the AI model. And number two, understand the differences between training data and test data. And number three, understand supervised, non-supervised, and semi-supervised data model. And number four, understand language process models used by BART, and understand natural language processing, as well as feedback and imputation loops. I know all of this sounds like, well, this new knowledge to me, Nancy. I already did lots of research about different kind of courses you can take. For example, you should take this Coursera course regarding supervised and non-supervised training models. And this course about the natural language processing and broke into four steps you need to learn. And another course about feedback loop. I have collected a list of easy to digest technical courses for product managers and most of them are free. And you can go to this website and download all the PDF guide of recommended courses I verified and used by me. I'm also going to link the website in the description of this video. After you took those AI courses, you should directly create a product portfolio for experienced product manager. But product portfolios mainly emphasize on your knowledge about AI and what did you do about AI. Maybe some kind of side project you can work on with other people about AI and this can turn into a product portfolio for experienced product manager. And that is going to open so many doors for you to break into AI product management. The third way to become an AI product manager is to create a strategic product vision that adding the AI element to an existing product roadmap. For example, if you're already a product manager in the cloud space or product manager in the IoT space, many different spaces. And in the past, AI wasn't very popular and other people are not in the rush to create AI related product. However, time is different in 2023 with all the chat GPT disruptions. So many companies think about how can they leverage AI to create the competitive strengths. So therefore, if you're a smart product manager, you should create a unique product strategy, product vision to demonstrate how your existing product can integrate with AI. For example, if you're running any cloud product or any ads product, can you use AI empowered ads to make your ads run more efficiently? If so, you can directly work on AI product without applying for a new job just within your own company. Let me give you a specific example regarding how I became an AI product manager because the first product manager position I was hired is a smart cities product manager. But at the time, we didn't know what kind of technology we should use to help cities use car crashes. Then I provide a strategic vision about we should use IoT and machine vision to help cities use car crashes. That's how I was able to tap into multiple domains in my career without actually getting any degree in those space. And I was highly respected by my engineering team because my knowledge about AI by taking different kind of AI courses myself. I'm going to make an end-to-end -end description regarding day in life as an AI product manager in my next video. Make sure to turn on the bell notification once it's available. The fourth way to become an AI product manager is by transitioning from 
AI engineers, machine learning engineers, data scientists into product management in the AI space. And this is the easiest way to do because it will probably take you a longer time to learn AI knowledge compared with taking a longer time to learn product management knowledge. So if you're currently already an AI engineer or someone knows so much about AI, start to learn end-to-end -end product management skills, product management life cycles, and then turn those skills into a product portfolio to demonstrate you actually know product management and you have a solid foundation about AI and ML through your past work. For example, one of our students was a PhD in machine learning and he was able to become an AI product manager in the self-driving car space. I believe you guys can do it as well. So inside the PM Accelerator, we teach people how to master PM skills and build a product portfolio. And you can also watch free training on our YouTube channel as well. I'm receiving lots of emails about them landing a job offer, watching our free training. You should definitely check out those free training about product portfolio right here and comment below once you land a job offer. Feel free to download the 13 different projects. You can create your own product portfolio to accelerate your path to AI product management. I'm going to link it in the description as well. Becoming a product manager with no experience is facing unique challenges. Feel free to check out this playlist where I share with you different kind of strategies you can use even if you have no experience. And if you like any free tips we provide today, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and share this video with any AI product managers out there. This is Dr. Nancy Liam. I'll see you next time in my next video.